Now, the real question when it comes to the Jacksonville Jaguars is Leonard Fournette. Yep. Leonard Fournette has been one of the least efficient running backs. A lot's been made about that. That he, you know, was so highly drafted, so great in college, comes in and hasn't been very efficient. However, that does not matter. It does not matter if a guy's efficient, un- uh, is super efficient, inefficient, inefficient, if, he's, if he is de efficient, de efficient, a efficient, progressive, progressive uh, efficient. Ex- exactly. The point is, he has been good for fantasy and been a high scoring fantasy option in the games he plays. So it's injury versus a good fantasy option. Do you think he can stay healthy? He's got a great offensive line. Fantasy owners would do well to just reappropriate what Leonard Fournette represents to your fantasy team in your brain. If you can get him at a value and you no longer think of him as this anchor for your roster at the running back position, then you're fine. I think that's the truth. Don't think, think of him as a, good. as the top tier upper echelon. You know, you've got more risk with injury, suspension, efficiency than you've ever had with him before, and you just have to factor that into when you get him and where you get him in drafts. That's what I think the, it comes down to. Um, I did want to throw it, circling back for just a second, if Marquise Lee can get healthy, he's the player with the money attached. He signed the contract sure. extension. He's paid eight point, uh, his annual salary is $8.5 million. He's got 16 and a half guaranteed, and he had a 700-plus yard season for this team. So I just want to throw it out there. Right now he looks like you can't sift through the guys. But he's the one with money attached if he's healthy. Um, Jason, are you? Do you view Fournette differently than I just explained, or is that how you're viewing him? Or do you even get the privilege of viewing him that way because of his ADP? Uh, you know, it's one. Of, I don't. I think you don't get the privilege of viewing him that way because of his ADP. You've just got to take the gamble on the health because if he's out there playing football, he's good for your fantasy team. Over the last two years, here's a list of guys who have a higher percentage of finishing the week RB two or better. Saquon, Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, Zeke, Melvin Gordon, Alvin Kamara, end of list. So it's just a matter of is he playing, and that's the gamble you're taking. Now, he used to be you know, one of those second-round type of picks. Where is he right now in ADP? That's Fournette is at 305. I you're mean, drafting him ahead of Freeman, Henry, Carrion, Jacobs, Montgomery, Ingram, L- Lindsey. I mean, I'm never taking him over Carrion Johnson, but... Uh, I, I think you would take him over over Devonta Freeman. So I see an injury risk with both of those guys, but I would take the offense of the Falcons. So no, I did I would move Freeman down a little bit in my it's rankings fair. recently. I do wonder, you know, we talk kind of like, oh, my gosh, they didn't bring anybody else in to compete with Fournette. Really? Right. They brought in Alfred Blue. Well, and they drafted, drafted Ryquel Armstead. So but maybe maybe some of that has to do with the philosophical change on offense. Maybe it has to do with wanting to throw the ball more. Not trusting Fournette to be the offense that got them. Look, they tried to two years ago at work. Great defense. Fournette pounded out. Maybe they're, it's representative of like we're not going to invest more in the running back position because we're going to we'll get what we get out of him, but we're going to throw it a little bit more. I you know it's hard to say. Um, I don't think his what's his ceiling. I guess would be a nice way to finish that. His, up. his ceiling is definitely a top ten running back. If you want more of that. Click down there, see the whole episode. Click over there, subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.